Yo, what's up guys, Balancing Sam here, welcome back to another video now, in today's video we got a combination that is, according to the community, a high intermediate type combination. Um, so this name is not actually official, but I'm just gonna call it the text top because I did like it, and uh, yeah, without further ado, here is how it looks. There you go, and here's a slow-mo. The trick itself is not that hard, it's just a combination of a few tricks. Um, first of all being, of course, that thing I overuse, which is like the start of a reverse behind the 8-ball. And then um, there is some, um, some ladder type thing, some open ladders, uh, and then into a short stop open, or like a short stop ending, um, basically. So, um, to start this trick, we're gonna start on the safe handle, and we're gonna go into that reverse behind the eight ball trick, and then we're gonna insert our middle, our, our index finger right here, right? And uh, what we're gonna do here, instead of going into that uh, rollover, or that whatever that is, that chaplain, whatever. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to grab with these three fingers onto the handle and the blade and let go with our thumb. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a little swing with our whole hand to have the ha whole handle kind of twist and spin in a, in a sort of weird fan, but just with the handle, right? Like that. Now, if you do that, that would look like this there because we need to end with the handle facing towards us right and as you can see what i also did is i went down because what we need to do is for the next part of the trick we need momentum right so we need to build up as much momentum as we can from uh for the next for the ladder trick so i suggest you go down here so you can raise it all up and then use that momentum to continue for the rest of the trick because if you don't and you're like here you still need to, you know, go there. You're not going to get much done. So I would suggest drop it down like so. It also makes it flow more uh, and it just looks better overall. So, yeah. So what we're going to do then is after we are here, we're going to swing everything up. And of course, let go with all these fingers and let it just roll over our index finger like so. And then what we're going to do is once it comes around here, we're going to insert our middle finger again and then get into that little um, ladder type thing. This is kind of um, the same as the whole giraffe thing where you do that little rollover. But instead of going into a chaplain, which would be which would be dangerous with the live blade, we're going to go into a ladder and then into that short stop. So here is how that looks. So as you can see now, if I were the chaplain, I would have probably lost my fingertip and uh, this is also the most dangerous part of the trick because you have to be fast with it because once you go here the handle is coming towards you so what you're going to do now is just grab onto it and do that letter into that catch so the set of fingers that you'll need is, as you can see we are rolling over our middle finger and we're going to insert a uh, ring finger right here to go into that ladder and then of course once you're over here I'm going to add our, uh, our index finger as well to push it all up and to go into that catch. There you go. So it is a bit weird. Um, it is a little bit different than a shortstop where you do everything on like these two fingers. You don't really use your index. But this one, you do need your index. So um, it's a bit of a different type of shortstop. But yeah it does take a little while to get your head around this bit at least for me um a little handle fan um the tip i could give you is to just keep everything pretty loose you know don't grip the handles don't try to grab this because you'll stop the momentum just kind of let it flow um keeping it semi loose and then also what i like uh, to do is just to use my hand to create the extra bit of momentum so that it all flows a bit more together um so there and then that is just basically you know something you have to train by doing over and over and over again and you'll get that over time i actually almost just got myself there uh, 
So there you go. That is pretty much it. It's not the most difficult trick. It is something to get your head around though. So um, if you haven't ever done anything like this before, make sure to train on a trainer blade first or some light blade that isn't super sharp anymore because especially that last bit where you are on the by handle for the shortstop catch can be dangerous if you're not used to it. Um, so yeah, just be careful with this trick and uh, yeah. So that is pretty much gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this tech stop tutorial. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are brand new. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I hope to see you guys in the next video very soon. Peace. Also buy a fucking knife. I still have way too many here. Buy a fucking knife.